Well, it's finally happened. For the first ever time in my career, my team listed and sold a property that has now not closed. You see, in this crazy market that we came out of in early 2022, we had a lot of properties that we didn't think were going to close. And we even had a few that closed late after a date extension and a whole bunch of more work from the realtors, mortgage brokers, and lawyers involved. But this time, we had a property that we received a firm offer on way back in March, not close this last summer. And now we have had to put that property back on the market in order to get it sold. Resold? I think resold or sold the first time. Sold or resold? I don't know. So why does that matter to you? Well, this is the very first example in my market here of Surrey, BC, where I can tell by using these two sale prices exactly how far the market has fallen. Because this property technically did sell at the peak of the market back in March, and now again, just a couple of weeks ago. So some details on that and the overall Surrey market are the focus of this month's Surrey report. And as always, before we get into the details of the Surrey report, here is my amazing team and the latest housing prices for the city of Surrey. 153 detached home sales in 2022 August, and that's down from 390 in August of last year. We have a benchmark price of 1655900 and that is a reduction of 4.4% month over month and an increase of 12.2% year over year. Moving into our townhouse market, the benchmark price is $852,600. That is down 3.6% month over month, but still up 13.8% year over year. And moving into our condo market, the benchmark price is $533,100, which is down 1.5% month over month and up 15.6% year over year. Well, there you have it. Some sizable monthly losses now showing up in the stats. However, year over year, we have not yet slid back as far as August of 2021. At least not yet. And remember, if you'd like to stay up to date here on my market of Surrey, BC in the Fraser Valley for when those year over year prices finally do go negative, please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And of course, if you need help finding a home or if you're looking to sell because lending is getting too expensive, you can book a call with me right now down below in the description with just a few simple clicks at a time that works best for you. And now on to Surrey Detached Houses, selling for less and less and less and less and less and a lot less. Well, you get the point. Okay, so here's the deal. My team did list the property that I told you about at the beginning of the video. As a result of that, there's only so much I can say because obviously I have confidentiality with my client and that means here I can only provide some factual information and generalizations about the situation. Yes, we listed a property back in March of which we received multiple offers and that property sold well in excess of the asking price. However, when the completion date came and went, the buyer was unable to close that deal. Now, the buyer was not my client, so I don't know the situation of exactly why that buyer was not able to complete the contract. And I also can't likely comment or speculate because there's a very good chance that the seller of the property will end up suing for damages to recover losses from the difference of the previously agreed to price and the price that the property would resell for back on the market, which is now unfortunately a lower market. So let this be a lesson to you buyers. No, sorry, you don't get to just walk away from a deal after the fact. But when you do, then it's my responsibility as a real estate agent to step back in because you can't prove damages unless you actually go back and resell the property a second time. And in this case, that's exactly what my client had to do. And that brings me to the point of finding out exactly how far the market has dropped. You see, normally we use active listings and solds, but the homes are never the exact same home in the exact same location. Then we compare those homes against the stats to help guide you in order to find market value to get your property on the market, or I guess in the same exact manner, if you're looking to buy a property. And the tough part is the exact same property is not going to be used to determine how far the market has gone up or down, unless that property likely sells many years apart from its previous sale. But in this case, the home has sold twice, just within a couple of months. So if we use the stats, it would appear by the numbers that if you listed your home for sale for 
eight, nine, five million dollars in February that today you would sell for 1.655, a difference of $240,000 or in this case, 12.66%. But that is a very general market statement and doesn't account for many variables. Variables that could include things like power lines, busy streets, how big the home is, or other variables as simple as different neighborhoods within the city. For example, East Newton dropped from 1.95 million to 1.62 million in just five months, a decline of 17%. When Panorama Ridge, right nearby, didn't even peak until May and has only dropped 3% since then. But now this specific property has sold and we have a direct measure of exactly what has happened to the market from the peak until now. I mean real apples to apples. Or oranges to oranges. In this particular case, the new selling price was $329,000 less than it was just in March. And believe it or not, on this particular home, that represents a 20% decline in the market, which on a side note is almost exactly in line with the 1%, 10% rule that we often speak about in mortgage financing and house prices. But with all the negativity, doom and gloom in the marketplace, as a result of homes selling for so much less, the Fraser Valley right now is seeing a resurgence of buyers coming back into the market. And I can personally confirm that this is true. My listings are getting way more showing requests and offers than we've had at all since way back in June. And I can also confirm that as a result of that, real estate agents everywhere will be hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That's uh, a stretch. I'll admit, could have, been, could have been better. But how can this be? How can buyers be now coming back to the market? Well, I think I may have found the answer and let me show you what I think that is. What I did was I found the average selling price for my market area, the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board, and I plotted it on this graph in red. So this is average pricing year by year every single year from 1980 until the end of 2021. My next step was to calculate the average growth per year. And that number came in just a hair under 6%. And that is represented here by the blue line. And something very funny happened. Well, we don't have 2022 numbers yet. I do have a 2022 column. What I did was I took the average sale price in the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board from just this last set of statistics that came out. And those numbers, the average increase, the blue line, and the current selling price of homes in the Fraser Valley, they met perfectly this month. Now, I know that buyers and realtors have no idea that this has gone on, but there's very likely something on a even a subconscious level right now where the buyers are starting to come back to the market and say, you know what, these prices don't feel so bad. And historically, over the past 42 years, the numbers are currently backing it up. And just for everybody out there that wants to be negative and say, no, 2021, doom and gloom, all that stuff, because we saw such a massive increase, uh, I actually did you guys a favor so you can see. Let me see if I can zoom in on this just a hair for you. This green dotted line, what I did for that calculation, average growth, was I removed 2021 and 1981, both years of 40% growth. And that number of the compounding dropped down to about five and three quarter percent. So this green dotted line removes the crazy outlier years of an up market. Now, what I probably should have done there is remove the low lying years as well, but I, I didn't. I, I want to try and get on the side of the YouTube commenters maybe for this one. So there you go. Maybe prices have come back down far enough that buyers are starting to be willing parties and coming back to the marketplace. But in all honesty, right now, financing is the thing getting in the way of sales. And let me tell you one thing for sure, there is no lack of people wanting to buy and sell real estate. The want is here and the need is here. All we are really waiting for now is the confidence to come back to the market. And well, that's only a matter of time. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Please check out another video before you leave the channel. Remember that you can always book a call with me right now down below in the description if you're looking for real estate help in either Surrey or the Fraser Valley. Remember to subscribe, click the like button, and we'll see you in a couple of days.